My name is Stephen Four Steadymaker, and I am proud to announce the launch of our latest product, which is the Bob Buster Handles. Now, these are spring loaded handle system that you can attach to almost any commercially available DSLR gimbal stabilizer system. Why is it called the Bob Buster? Well, the main reason is these handles stop the bobbing of the camera operator. You'll often notice with DSLR gimbal stabilizers that when you're walking, you have an up and down movement. Uh, that's unavoidable because of the way people walk. And gimbal stabilizers don't usually cover this situation. You can minimize the bob or the up and down bounce with software or post-production, but usually you can't eliminate this situation unless you're a very capable and talented operator or if you have a very, very good professional uh, gimbal stabilizer. Unfortunately, most of them do not eliminate this. So we have developed these ABS mounted handles that you can see on the bottom of the stabilizer. These are spring-loaded handles in the same stylings as a traditional stabilizer. The great thing about the handles is that they are light, they can be used in multiple positions, and they can be mounted on almost any commercially available gimbal stabilizer that we have. They're mechanical, they're not battery powered, so they will last as long as you need during each shoot. I am using it with our own gimbal stabilizer that we have available on steadymaker.net but you can also use the bob buster handles with your own gimbal stabilizers any single handle gimbal stabilizers uh, including dji with their mounted handle system you can remove dji's handles and you can attach this with an attachment i will show you to use with almost any uh, dji stabilizer so we're going to look at how to set it up. We're also going to do a little comparison uh, walking up and down stairs, for example, with the handles and without the handles. So you can just see that extra level of stabilization these handles offer. So I've taken the handles off the stabilizer to see what the Bob Buster handles look like on their own. I'm going to give you a quick tour of what you get when you receive the handles. First of all, this is the main body. You'll see that there are two spring mounted arm sections and an adjustable handle. Uh, with the adjustable handles, you just loosen the main screw and then you can actually use these handles in the upright or the inverted uh, configuration. This will be when you're using the handles on the top or on the bottom of the gimbal stabilizer depending on if you're using inverted or normal mode. So you can rotate the handles and use them in whichever configuration is most comfortable for you. On the top and bottom of the handles there is a standard screw thread mount. You can use these with lights or microphones or any kind of setup that you want. You can often use them with the remote control from the stabilizers themselves to control the stabilizer angle, or you can use it with any accessories that you choose. Next thing is the central attachment. Now, this is adjustable for different gimbal stabilizer mounts. You can uh, enlarge or reduce the size to attach it to your central handle from your DSLR gimbal stabilizers. We also supply spare screws and bolts, and also a tool for tightening the system uh, for reattaching and readjusting. The only other thing of note on the Bob Buster handles is there are two adjustment screws. This is to adjust the tightness of the spring. Now, different size setups, different weight setups will need different tensions on the spring. We also include three different size springs for your Bob Buster handles. This is depending on the weight of your camera plus stabilizer. I will put on the screen the different sizes of the springs and the different weights they adjust to. Uh, to adjust the tension of the spring, you would use a small screw on the top 
this will adjust how loose or tight the spring is in the Bob Buster handles. So apart from adjusting the strength of the springs, uh, we also have one other adjustment here. This is just to adjust the dampness of the springs. When I say the dampness, I mean how springy the springs are. Now every operator will have their own preference. There is not one perfect setting. It's going to be a lot of trial and error filming and then comparing results from one shot to another shot. But basically you can make the springs looser or tighter or springier or less springy depending on your stabilizer weight and your gimbal setup. Um, and that's all that you need to adjust. The only other adjustment is when you actually change out the springs. But once you've found the optimal spring for your stabilizer, you won't really need to change this setting. It's only if you switch to a much heavier setup, a different gimbal or a much lighter setup that you will need to remove the arm and take out the spring. You will be given a manual with your stabilizer that has instructions in how to switch out the springs in situations that you need it. So we're going to put the Bob Buster handles through their paces. Now usually we do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, just walking around, but that's not good enough for the Bob Buster handles. We're going to do up and down stairs. The reason we do this is because this is where the Bob Buster handles come into their own by dampening the up and down bounce movement that uh, gimbal stabilizer operators will often have in situations like this. So this is great when you've got extra bouncy or extra unstable operation, when you're going up and down stairs, when you're running, when you need any kind of adjustment. So we're going to compare handheld shots uh, with my able-bodied camera operator there with, uh, hello, with shots from the gimbal stabilizer and the Bob Buster handles attached to it. Okay, so if we uh, spin around, we can see the stairs in front of us here. Just pointing down the stairs. Now I've got my gimbal stabilizer in follow mode, which means that it will follow the pitch and yaw of my stabilizer. Okay, so we'll start by going down the steps. Now I'm gonna go down the steps, starting sideways, pointing at my cameraman, and then pointing directly down the stairs. So here we go, we'll start first half of the stairs going sideways. This is particularly challenging for both operators because you have to navigate stairs while looking at uh, another person. And then we'll do the second half, pointing down the steps. Let's see who gets the, the bottom faster. Okay, and go back to the operator. Hi. Just because that's the trickiest shot, going nice and quickly up the steps to illustrate the bob bouncing. And then we're gonna do the rest at a low angle going up the stairs. Here we go, and up the staircase. And then back to the camera operator. So we'll get to see how the footage looks compared handheld with the Bob Buster handle. <laughs> 